Hi friends, welcome back to cycleVideo.com. In our previous sessions, we have completed uh, first and second chapter. So in, in this particular section, we are going to start our next, uh, next chapter in our design of steel structures, chapter 3 that is design of tension members. So as per your diploma syllabus, we are going to get uh, two short answers for uh, six marks and one long answer for 10 marks. The total weightage of this design of tension members is total, is, total weightage is 16 marks. So this uh, design of steel structures, the part one that is chapter one, chapter two and chapter three are not only useful for your diploma, that is polytechnic, it is also a foundation for your B.Tech and also for your M.Tech level also. So please uh, watch all my previous videos uh, on design of steel structures, chapter one, chapter two, before having a glance at design of tension members. So let us discuss about the design of tension members. Yes. So what is tension member? For example, we are having a structural member. So when the two and equal opposite forces are acting on the opposite direction. So one force is here at point A and another force is at point B. And two and equal opposite forces are acting on opposite direction. This force is acting in this direction and this force is acting on this direction. What happens? A tensile force is developed in the structural member. So those members or elements which are subjected to this tensile force is called as tension members. In these tension members, the forces are e in opposite direction, equally opposite direction. So let us have a look at what are tension members. So when a structural member is subjected to a two pulling forces, as I told you, two pulling forces which are applied at its end is called a tension member or a tie member. So for example, let us consider a structural member. So this is the axis, as I told you two forces P and P are acting each other in opposite direction. So this force and this force are acting opposite to each other. What happens? It changes the direction. So the force which we are applying here is called tensile force. This force is called as tensile force. So those structural elements which are subjected to these tensile forces are also called as tension members or tie members. So what are the examples for your tension members? Wires and cables, bars and rods. So let us have a exam, uh, glance at wires and cables. So what are wires and cables? For example, these wires and cables are mostly used in suspension bridges. For example, you are having a river here, one bridge we are having here. So this is a suspension cable. So these are cables and wires. This is a bridge. Second one is, second example for your tension members is bars and rods. These bars and rods are mostly used as a truss elements in your lightweight structures or industrial buildings, etc. This is a truss element. So these are the two examples for your tension members. So what is a tension member? When a structural member is subjected to a two pulling forces on, which are applied on the its end is called a tension member or a time member. As I told you this, let us consider a <coughs> let us consider a structural member which is having a loads acting on the either side the force is tensile force so this element is called as tension members or a time member so for examples for your tension member as i told you wires and cables bars and rods these wires and cables are mostly used in your suspension bridges etc bars and rods are used in in construction of lightweight structures industries roofs etc so this is a truss element this is a suspension bridge so this is a tension member 